It's a Labor Day public holiday, but uh, for everyone in Trinidad and Tobago, the thing that's on everyone's lips is Tropical Storm Brett. It formed at 5 p.m. this afternoon and is set to begin to affect us as early as 9 o'clock and uh, continuing into the early hours. Now, Trinidad and Tobago is under a tropical storm warning alongside Grenada, northeastern Venezuela, especially along that coastline, even including Margarita Island. And the tropical storm watches are now in effect for Bonaire, Curaçao and Aruba as the system is set to make their uh, landfall as we get towards it later on the Tuesday and Wednesday. Meanwhile, just looking at uh, the latest uh, satellite picture, you can just see there that large red splodge basically has a circulation on it now. It is uh, swirling around and it is uh, set to have its earliest effects of the winds coming through, as I said, just about 9 p.m. And obviously, even as it does goes past, the winds will still be on the back end of that system. So be mindful about that all the way through into early Tuesday morning. Now, the impacts of the wind will definitely be there. Gusty winds palm swaying, possibility of some roofs as well being blown off in uh, those uh, gusty winds. But the major issue will be those torrential downpours as well as the rough seas and also the possibility of uh, landslides in Trinidad and Tobago and mudslides along uh, the northern parts of Venezuela which is quite hilly. Now looking at uh, Trinidad and Tobago right now, you obviously have been seeing a lot of the cloudiness around. That cloudiness has also been bringing some showers especially along eastern areas of uh, Trinidad. You begin to see all of that spreading uh, continuously into the west as we get into went into this evening and into overnight so be mindful about that and also some of that will be spraying further towards the north up towards Barbados. Barbados is not under a tropical storm warning but they are under a flash flood watch as so too will most of the islands in Vincent as well we're watching those are heavier showers blowing past but for Grenada they're also under a tropical storm warning. Now the rains out of the system could be quite substantial 125 millimeters of rainfall that's half the month's rainfall for June which could usually fall in just one day. So we might bear that in mind as we go through the next uh, few hours and into Tuesday. The half a month's rainfall could be coming by you in less than 12 hours. And bearing in mind that right now all the ground across Trinidad and Tobago is uh, saturated from the rainfalls that we had last week and where we got about 100 millimeters in two days, Thursday and uh, Friday. So in terms of uh, that system coming through, we'll likely still see a bit of the showers coming through on Wednesday. It will clear by the time we get to Thursday. A lot of bright sunshine. It will be quite a relief and a change uh, from the cloudiness that you will be seeing over the next few hours. So as uh, the heavier showers are coming through into the early hours, especially across the hills of Tobago, be mindful of uh, the landslides, possibility of street or flash flooding as well, as well as uh, those are squally winds, winds of 65 kilometers per hour or higher is expected and obviously that will have palm swaying, uh, especially in the along the eastern shorelines of Trinidad coming down towards Mayaro as well. Along the south coast you will be seeing the full effects of uh, the system, bearing in mind that uh, the northern part of uh, tropical storms is usually where you find the strongest winds. So this is where you'll be seeing all of those effects coming through along the northern range and into Tobago as well. So no part of Trinidad and Tobago is set to be a safe from the system. It won't be like this previous uh, Brett. This one will basically be making almost a direct hit uh, for Trinidad and the Tobago. Now temperature wise, looking at a low of a 24 degrees Celsius, 25 in the Tobago. Tomorrow's high hovering around the 30 to 32 in uh, Trinidad. But bear in mind that under the tropical storm conditions, it will feel quite pleasant. But still on Wednesday, we'll still be seeing uh, some showers around, some of them turning heavy, all c because of the instability. Even as tropical storm Brett leaves the area, it will still be leaving that trail of cloud into us by midweek. We could be seeing a brightness, however, on the Thursday. And then on a Friday, there seems to be another uh, tropical wave marking its way. We could be seeing some showers uh, then. In terms of uh, those of you heading out, bear in mind you've got your low tide at 7 a.m. But during the high tides, we could be seeing uh, some of those waves being higher than normal. Talking about the waves, looking at uh, waves out in the Atlantic near that system as 4 to 5 meters, which is why the Rough Seas Bulletin is in effect. Locally, seas could be rather choppy as well, even in the Gulf of Paria as the system passes through. Now, for many parts of the Eastern Caribbean, they're also quite concerned about the rains, especially for Grenada and those hilly parts of uh, St. Vincent. But once we get towards uh, later on Wednesday, it'll be moving quite quickly. And its next stop may well be Santo Domingo and the Dominican Republic, as well as Haiti. So they could also be in charge of some, obviously, some of that flare coming through. But there is an upper-level trough there, so not further development is not expected, but definitely the rains will be a factor as we go through the next few days, especially out towards the Central Caribbean. So looking then for Rosa, Dominica, St. Lucia as well, they will see some spillover clouds, some showers there because of the unstable nature, because of Brett being so close. But the majority of the system will be passing over Grenada, 
affecting Grenada and then coming down towards Ghana and there may see some showers. Now some of you may be old enough to remember Brett back in 1993 and uh, Brett basically did pass between the and that is the Tobago Sound between Trinidad and Tobago and it made its westward track as you can see here back in August 5th 1993. Obviously uh, this system that we are experiencing obviously has a bit more in terms of a direct impact on us so be mindful over the next few days and uh, definitely try and stay safe. So uh, that's a look at your weather 